George, why are you checking on this road? Is something wrong with your car? Auntie Mary, I just said I should stroll to church. Instead of driving, let an old woman stretch her legs. Stretching leg is necessary. So, I hear that George is getting married. Auntie Mary, let him marry you. Let him marry. In fact, we are marrying him off before he destroys himself. Yeah, you say marry him off. To who? When, whose life do you want George to go and now destroy and make the person miserable? I made him meet a nice, well-educated girl in our church about a year back. And he likes her. And now they are getting married. Um, Mama George, please help me answer these questions. Is it the same George that the police came here to arrest two weeks ago for destroying a nightclub and not paying for drinks? Is it the same George that I sent to my brother's company to work and he left after a week saying the job was stressing him out? Uh-uh, Auntie Mary, I know what you are trying to say. But he will change. He will change. Biao, Mama George, this is your church girl arrangement. Does the girl know that George is a rascal? Or that you have packaged him for her with your sweet and honey voice? Auntie Mary, he is my son. I say he will change. He will change. So without a job, is it the inheritance your husband left with George himself has finished squandering earth that they used to feed themselves? We will manage. You, this woman, it's like you don't even want to enjoy your own old age. Uh, Auntie Mary, why would you say something like that? Look, oh. <laughs> Mama George, you know, eh, between you and I, secretly, you're the only person in this estate that I sold house to. Other people think you are renting. It was because of your situation as a young widow, and then your husband, people trying to, to kick you out. That's what I sold to you. I normally don't sell my houses to people. Auntie Mary, I know. You know I'm always grateful to you for that. Look, let me tell you something. These young men, even some of the old ones, only listen to the consequences of their actions. You have to show him some tough love. If police arrest him, leave him inside the jail. Let him just see my there small. Stop giving him this monthly stipend. He says he's, 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 a stupid boy does not deserve a stipend. He's too stupid for stipend. No, you know I'm not like you. I don't have the heart. Bia, the judge I know can turn the sweetest girl into a winch and a monster. So, let me be your heart. Tell George that you have transferred his trust fund and everything to me and that I am now in charge. He'll be given a second chance at my brother's company, but he must hold down that job for no less than six months. Auntie Mary, I can't do that too. I can't do that. It will be hard. Besides, the wedding is just in a few months. If you don't cooperate and give me feedback within three days, I will go and tell that girl that you are packaging George for her. I will tell her parents and tell everybody what you are doing. And I know come. Ah. See you later, my dear. In short, enjoy this year walk and your stretching of leg. <laughs> I know I like trouble, but this is the good kind of trouble. <laughs>